Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And I'm standing in front of here, a saw palmetto. Fascinating, fascinating plant and so important here for the ecology of these barrier islands in Florida. I'm here on Honeymoon Beach State Park near Tampa, Florida, and I am just absorbed into the ecology and amazing plants, animals, and wildlife of this island. Today's episode is about the saw palmetto. And for me, it was fascinating from a biological perspective and part of the plant ecology. And then I look it up online and the first 30 or 40 registers on Google are all from medical sites touting the medical value of this plant. Well, today I'm going to show you a little bit about this plant here in its native environment, talk to you a little about its biology and just a little bit about its medical value. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So I'm standing here by this saw palmetto. Its scientific name is Serenoa repens, and it's known as the saw palmetto. And I'll show you here in a minute why it's called the saw palmetto. It's a fascinating plant, rarely grows over six feet tall, rarely has an erect trunk, but it has a tree trunk that lies against the ground. When I first saw saw palmetto, I was told that there was a trunk underneath the plant that was lying on the ground that could be as much as 10 or 15 feet long and over 200 years old. I had great difficulty actually finding the trunk through all the palm fronds that were all around it and on top of it and had difficulty pushing in to see it. However, I did find this exposed trunk of a saw palmetto in Key Vista Park and I said, ah, this is it. And I was able to have a good look at it. The other place I was really astounded when I went to the site of a controlled burn by the state park system on one of the maritime islands close by. It was done for habitat maintenance and preservation of the natural ecology, which is based on fire. I saw these trunks that are lying on the ground and I realized there weren't dead trees. They weren't look-alike palmetto or sable palmetto palm trees that fell down and I realized it was actually saw palmetto and it was so fascinating to see them here. So they are also part of this fire-dependent ecology and like cabbage palm are naturally resistant to wildfires. And it's very slow growing. They've estimated that the tree trunk of this plant may only grow a half an inch a year. So if you find a 10 foot long trunk of a saw palmetto, it's probably about 240 years old. Many of these palmettos here out on these marine islands are possibly five or 600 years old. It's just such a fascinating plant. It's so important to the ecology here. As you can see, there's a well of hiding places here. Many animals eat its seeds and its leaves. It provides cover on hot dry days of southern Florida for so many different kinds of reptiles and mammals and turtles. It's just such a critical, critical plant in the ecology here. So how did this particular plant get its name, saw palmetto? Well, if you look into the plant and reach down onto the stem of this fan-shaped palm, you'll see these teeth on it that look very much like a saw. And if you're for some reason working around these plants or cutting them back for some particular reason, you need to be really careful to wear protective clothing because these in fact can act just like a saw. Now these are different from the cabbage palm or the cabbage palmetto. You can look at the end of the stem here and where the fan-like leaves come together, you'll see it just comes to a well, kind of a rectangular joint here on the saw palmetto. So now if we go over here and go to a look like cabbage palm, you'll see that the stem lacks those teeth that was on the saw palmetto. And you see a very distinct V-shaped pattern where the leaves come out. So on the cabbage palm, the leaves come out off a V-shaped structure 
and on the sawtooth palmetto, it ends in a sort of a rectangle, and the leaves radiate out from the end of that rectangular stem. As I mentioned in the introduction to this video, I was astounded when I typed in the word saw palmetto, expecting to see botany websites, and it was absolutely inundated with medical sites and advertisements touting the herbal and medicinal benefits of saw palmetto. I'm neither a doctor or a herbalist, and I'm not going to encourage or discourage or advocate the use of saw palmetto, but I do want to report a little bit about its medicinal history and what are its reported benefits medically are today. Historically, indigenous peoples, especially the Seminole tribe of Florida, used saw palmetto and its berries for a wide spectrum of medicinal purposes. Today, saw palmetto is recommended to treat anything from hair loss to enlarged prostrates and various urinary issues and libido issues. From what I read on WebMD, it was suggested it might prevent testosterone to be converted into a more potent form of testosterone called dihydrotestosterone or DHT. And the indications are that reduced levels of DHT may help prevent some types of hair loss. Various other websites, when many may have a financial incentive or financial gain for advertising their product, suggest that salt palmetto may help reduce symptoms of benign prostrate hypertrophy, or BPH. Healthline reports that saw palmetto may help improve urinary symptoms that is associated with BPH and cited various studies where there seems to be some benefit. At the same time, they cited other studies that saw palmetto had no benefit when used alone. Additionally, saw palmetto has been credited with improved urinary flow, quality of life, and sexual function when compared with the placebo. There is mixed research in suggesting that saw palmetto blocks the activity of 5-alpha reductase enzyme, which converts testosterone to DHT. DHT is involved with the enlargement of the prostate gland. And maintaining testosterone as you get older influences body composition, libido, and mood. Two very large National Institute of Health studies using one particular preparation of saw palmetto found it was no more effective for many of these outcomes than a placebo. There is, however, a variety of saw palmetto products that have shown mixed results in smaller studies, so it seems more research is needed before a firm conclusion can be made on the efficacy of saw palmetto given its many permutations. If you have issues that might possibly be treated by saw palmetto, I suggest that you talk to your medical doctor or family physician and read up on recent research. I'm sure that many of my viewers might be taking saw palmetto and finding great benefit from it. I think that's really great for you if you have found relief from symptoms by taking saw palmetto products. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. If you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe and leave me a like. And leave me a comment as well. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.